Okay everybody, I'm going to go over uh, how to use my slip float for catfishing. Um, let's get down to it. First you need my slip float. The rig is pretty simple and I'm casting from a bank. You can cast this from a boat. Basically I'm using Carolina rig, snailed hook. My leaders, I tie a double surgeon's loop where I can remove my leader and change them up, change the different size hooks, etc. etc. Got a barrel swivel, polymer knot, and this is a 80 pound monofilament. What this is is a shock leader because I use 12 foot rods. Uh, got a bead, four ounce weight, sinker slide that I'm going to use for this here. And then I have a bead on top. So What's attached to my leader, the 80 pound monofilament. This one, I was at the river, only needed about six foot. You know, so the line I have on here, my main line is 50 pounds of monofilament. So I just made a uni to uni knot that's going to act as my stopper. I removed this. So I can attach this to my line, just like so. Okay, so see we're free flowing. Basically allows it, because this is what you're casting right here. Once you cast it out into the depth that you want, it's going to rise all the way up and stop right there at that uni to uni. Now you can use bobber stops. You can, you know, you can use things like that. But I just I go ahead and utilize the fact that I'm using shock leaders anyway. So you know, if I'm fishing in 20 foot of water. And I want to put, you know, display my bait two foot off the bank or two foot off the bottom. Then I set my shock leader accordingly at probably, you know, 17 and a half foot. Get, you know, 8, 10 inches for a, you know, for your uh, leader. So that being said, basically, throw some bait on it. You're ready for some action. Just as simple as that. Works great in a boat. You know, it's good to work it around coverage for flatheads. Uh, it's a good rig. I enjoy using it. And it casts good too. As you can see it out there, plenty of buoyancy, even with a four ounce weight on it. So, so once again, here's my uni to uni knot. If I'm using braid, I'm gonna tie a carrot knot just because it works better with braid, I feel like. Uh, and sometimes when you're getting up in a 60 and 80 pound monofilament, you know, it's a little bit more, especially 80 pounds, it's a little bit more difficult to, you know, you got a big bulky knot, uh, which is not good.
for going through the eyes of your rods. So, once again, here's my shock leader, uni to uni, or carrot knot, whichever you prefer. There's your bead, sinker slide with the, with the float on it, four ounce lead, sometimes I even use six ounce lead, depending on if I'm in current or not. Or also it depends on, you know, if I need to get chuck that thing out there a little ways to get it out into that depth of water I need it to be in. Uh, so like I said, four to six ounce sinker, another bead, polymer knot, barrel swivel, connected to a 50 pound liter with your choice of hook, snailed, and the leader attached to the barrel swivel. For me, I use a double surgeon to loop. And for that reason is because this is how easy it is to remove. I mean, you can cut it off, but you know what? I, I can reuse this at any point in time. So, I mean, bam. Leaders, leaders off, changing hook sizes, whatever. Changing leader sizes, got a bad leader. That's just, just why I tie that knot. Anytime I've ever broken off, it breaks off about where my finger is, just above the knot. This knot has never failed me. So I'll continue to use it until it does. Well, I thank you all for watching. I uh, hope uh, this clears anything up. Anybody had questions or, you know, was unsure on how my setup worked. Um, it's not the only setup out there. There's probably much more advanced setups and this is just what works for me. I'll see you again next time.